Oh, I think it's doing it. <laughs> Yay! Well, hey guys, hopefully this is actually going out to YouTube. Um, <laughs> there are some updates and stuff, apparently. Um, and it said, we don't want to... <laughs> YouTube didn't want to play along. But it says it's playing along now, so... Um, but the stream will start in about five seconds, guys. Thanks so much for your patience. Here we go. <laughs> hey everybody! Oh, just the, my chair is so squeaky, and I, it, it's like it's like I'm trying to be quiet because the mics are, are are live when we're we're coming in, and um, so I'm trying to say anything, and then <laughs> <laughs> just part of the intro music at this point. <laughs> hey, it works. it works. Yeah. Well, hey everybody! Well, welcome to the stream. Hey, hey! It's uh, Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I'm that. This, uh, Jackie over there. Yeah, I'm Jackie. Hey, do it. Am I on the like? Am I centered on the or am I? I my mean, you're there? slightly to the side, but you're you always are because you got to get you know okay, everything cool. in there. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna get, okay. How's this? I mean, yeah, you look good. Yeah, keep posing. Do it look like a supermodel? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> anyway, this stream has literally gone to the dogs, guys. <laughs> Um, tonight, it well apparently it's National Dog Day. Is yesterday. it yesterday? Huh? Yesterday. Oh. Yesterday was, but we're we're doing it tonight, like it just happened. Well, I was totally selling the stream like today was National Dog Day. It eh, might as well be. No, I mean, uh, you know, only three hundred sixty-four days to the next one. <laughs> I I mean, with Facebook, it's like every day is something. It's like National Cupcake Day, <laughs> National Paint Your Fingers Day. Every day is National Paint My Fingers Day. Yes, that's true. Um. So is it National Dog Day or international? How big is this? Well, thing? I think it's international as well. But I mean, it, like wow. yesterday, it was like Facebook feed was like inundated with dog pics, and and I was like, hey, hey, we have dogs. Dogs are great. Yeah, yeah, and um, we have some pictures that have been sent in. Of yeah. People. Oops, I'm moving this thing. We're gonna, we're gonna have to. Yeah, so I've got some fan fan people pups, and um, I've got a little bit of dog trivia, and all kinds of fun stuff. That'll be but fun. But I think the most exciting thing is you're working on a different painting. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I, I kind of so um, I've been working on the Marilyn Monroe painting, but that does have a kitty cat in it. Kitty and cat. on International Dog Day, that would be uh, a that little. That would be right. Huh? That wouldn't be right. Yeah, it wouldn't be right. But I will give you an update. Um, I will show the painting. Um, I will show Marilyn because um, I have done a little bit of work on it. Here, I'll, let me actually get her now. Dun dun dun. And then I'm going to work on this other painting, which is completely different. Although it is a town that Marilyn frequent 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 frequent. Now see, I can't. See. Frequented. Frequented. There you go. She frequented, frequented. the town. It's not like I'm, it's not like I'm trying to tell the cow drive. She frequented it. Uh. Anyway, here, here, here's Marilyn. So you can tell I, um, I've changed her hair quite a bit uh, up here. That's the main thing. A little bit of the cat's head. I, I evened it out. It, it was down to about here, the cat's head. So I've increased it a little bit, rounded it out. Um, changed some of her hair up here. Her hair was pretty dark. Um, and I've lightened it and over here. It's kind of the same. Yeah, it's not showing up as great on, on the camera. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I think you you fixed the hair quite a bit. I mean, it, it, I mean, it look, yeah, I came into the studio and was like, oh, that, that looks way better. It looks great. Yeah. So, um, well, thank you. That's cool. Look, and behind her is a city. It's New York. New so York. So it's almost like she's walking through the city. <laughs> Hey, I'm walking you. You're adorable. Yeah. Getting so. cabin fever over here. Yeah. Does, well, let me say really fast. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some people join us. Kylie says, hey, all. Hey. Hey. Uh, Kim joins us, waving hello, hello. Um, hello, hello. Uh, Anna has joined us and says, hi, or oi, guys. Oi. Oi. <laughs> and Linda has joined us. Hi. Um, and Barbara Brand says, hi, hi. I got no dog, but I sent Jackie a dog pic. Ugh. 
I don't know if I can get that by... I missed it. I missed the one on my feed. I was monitoring your feed. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, Maureen Clark joins us, says, hi, guys. Um, and Brandon Foster's with us, says, hello from the Fosters. Hello, Fosters. Well, hi, guys. And Christy joins us, says, hi, guys. How's it going? It's going well. Oh, it's going well. Oh, crap. She's got... <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> well, the reason I say that, I'm so glad that you're here, Grizzy, but that makes me think about the diet thing. Remember we had that challenge? Uh, I like how I like how that lot that show ever you just glossed over it. Like just we just at the beginning it was like yeah, boom, 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 yeah, and then boom, 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 the show and we signed off, and it's like no. Yeah. Well, I had a weird thing though. One, one reason for it because I, I was um. I had like that um I had to go to the doctor and all that and he put put me on medication like mm-hmm. for the the blood pressure and all that and the the trouble that I was having then and um and it caused me like to swell and stuff so I gained like six pounds like in a day you know from that medicine because like there was also steroids and different things so I, it was right it was right on the day that we we're gonna start the the so you weighed yourself and you were you were heavier than you normally would be yeah it was so way it wasn't so, but, but it wasn't like a good sort of Thing. So I've been trying to watch what I eat, like I'm in and all that, but I haven't. But but it was like a good weigh in. So I thought, well, this isn't like this isn't, you know, for the the let the stream, like it wasn't it was it wasn't a right number. So I like what it, so, yeah. so what 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 my weight is now is like 212. Yeah. And that's that's what it was. And then that went on. And then it it and within a day it went to 220. And I thought, what the what? Oh yeah yeah. You well, know, and then we could agree. And stuff. so. It's like, you know, where's it going to, is it going to go back down to 212? Is it going to, you know, 212 is a lot. Yeah. So is it back to 212 now? I think so. So I know I said to Christy, I, I would, I, I was Facebooking her and I was like, I'll, I'll figure out a challenge situation. I will. I think about it. <laughs> I think I've got to do this. And so when, and so you can get your official weight and we can all like do this. Yeah. I'm so not saying my official weight on this though. No, right, right, right. Yeah, no, I, I want to because it'll be a good motivator for me, I think. Um, and also just health wise, like, so, um, you know, because one of the things about art, artwork, like one of the main things I always talk, talk about is that, you know, it's great if you finish a painting, you know, like the, the, the finished painting isn't the main thing. It's the actual act of painting. The process. Yeah. A painting is a verb, you know, it's a process. It, exactly. It's a, you know, um, it's a great way to help you deal with all sorts of things and, yeah. you know, depression, anxiety, just all kinds of, you know, and I, I don't, I don't want to make it seem like a very, um, lack of willpower to work out. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to make pain seem like a panacea or something, you know, where it just, it's a cure all or right, anything right, right. like that, you know, you. I mean, you know, but it just, you know, it, 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 it does help with a lot of different things, and it does make everything better. <laughs> I mean, because it helps reduce stress and, and all these, and helps get you in a positive mood, you know, in a frame of Are mind. Are you trying to sell painting to us like an exercise? Well, no, no, it's just that it, it, it's such a very positive mental sort of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's just like meditation and all that, you know, that it's healthy mentally. It doesn't cure everything, but it, right. it makes everything better. And um, so physically as well like i think it'd be good like to put a physical com- component you know so so if, if people go. are holding me to task you know a little bit like i know i gotta go in there i gotcha because um i i was down to, to 190 when I, when I had my back surgery and yeah for me at 190 i i mean i'm not i'm not like a bowed up muscular guy but but um at 190 I, i'm pretty thin yeah you, you which were. is crazy thinking. john's the fortunate type where he holds his weight well and even when he feels he's super heavy he doesn't really look it to me oh, thanks. so i i mean i'm always like whatever you do you <laughs> well, well, <laughs> <my response. laughs> well well when, when i'm 190 like i started getting definition like my ribs you know i start seeing that a little bit uh-huh. a little bit so you know and um and and, and i you know so well okay nancy it makes, it makes a big difference like 190 for most people is really still heavy yeah but yeah for me it seems like a good weight yeah yeah i know that's cool. Well, Nancy joins us and says, hey, hey. And hey, she hey. still thinks that there should be a little bit of hair over the cat. That's her vote. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe. And, um, I'm not done with it. <laughs> and our view joins us, which I think is Arthur. Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anston? Anson? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, uh, says, hi, John. Your episode of To Tell the Truth is on tonight. It is. That's cool. Yay. Wow. I don't, I, I'm curious how often they do those. Do those things in reruns. Me too. It's interesting. Well, thank you for telling me because yeah. I, I have no idea about things <laughs> in general. Things. Well, and Ron has joined us and says, "Hey, y'all, y'all, hope you had a good week." 
Thank pretty you. good, pretty good. That's right, we've been a little, a little, you know, crazy with the weather, and uh, luckily we're nowhere near Houston, so that's not an issue. But I hope Christy, speaking of, is. No, oh, yeah. I hope you're doing well. But um. Yeah, you're. We've got there. the giant mural in the back, and just wrapped in plastic, and, and crossing our fingers is what we're what yeah. what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's a little it's a little nutty. Um, I was able to work on it yesterday, but I, I was a little under the weather yesterday anyway, so it's almost like it worked out. In a way, but and I can't work on it today because the hurricanes and all. Um, you know, we're we're in no danger getting blown away. You know, we're 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 just north of Dallas, so you know, many 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 hours away from the ocean. But um, but, but it's, it's a, incredible though. You know it's how, a big how system. If so. there's a hurricane, you know, five or six hours away, we still get the rain from it. Yeah, like, yeah. That's crazy. that's how severe it is in, over there. It's I nuts. can't I can't imagine. Yeah. So we have that entire twenty four foot thing 10 feet tall Rapid. all covered in plastic <laughs> we're just saying hopefully it doesn't get too windy because you hear it out there and it sounds like it sounds like we have a, a, a selling ship in our backyard when the wind <laughs> our na- blows us. Uh, <laughs> our neighbors i'm sure our neighbors think we're nuts yeah but, yeah hey. um okay well uh so <laughs> christy says um oh you're in trouble now about the the weight thing and um how much exercise have you done lately painting that's what john's done um, yeah. I ran yesterday. Yeah, um, yeah, you've you've run. Um, I haven't done any any exercising, and I got a little under under the weather this week. And let me think of some other excuses. Um, <laughs> my, I gotta wash my hair. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, oh, and and Chrissy said, "Me neither. No public weight admissions. I right there, right there with you." No, um, um. And then uh, it. Okay. Yes, it is Arthur. Thank you. Um, and then Janice Keen joins us. Says, "I love the mask we received. So soft and comfortable. Like, I am glad. It took oh, forever. I meant for... to wear mine on. Uh... Oh yeah, we should. Well, we'll take a picture and do do the socials with it. We we get we finally got ours too. Like we were supposed to get them on Monday, and we got them on Tuesday. And so they're just a little slow to arrive. I think the, the things going on with the post office are a bit nutty, but." Man, I was super happy with the quality of them, though. I mean, like, they actually feel really nice. Yeah, yeah. They have, they have the the filter in them and everything, mm-hmm. you know, that you can take out and replace. Yeah, which is... and the color, like, the reproduction was done really well. Then you never know with that sort of stuff. Cause... Oh, that's good. You know, I didn't even think to ask you about what they look like. I just yeah. like, oh, they feel nice. Yeah, they, they look really good. Um, <laughs> that's funny. And uh, oh, and Christy says they're good here. The, the the storm shifted to Lake Charles a bit more. Oh, that's which I good. Didn't hear that? That's crazy. And yeah, then that's um, rougher. Yeah. I'm glad to hear you guys are good. Uh, and then Kelly's joined us from Canada and says hi. And my mom joins us and says hi guys. Well, hi. Hi. Lake Charles. That's um Louisiana. We we've done a show in Lake Charles. Yeah, we? yeah, we yeah we did a, a show down there in 2005. That giant no, bridge. That's most mostly what I remember is that's going to the bridge. You going like, I oh know. my goodness. That bridge over to Lake Charles. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> that was so scary, man. Man, dude. Um, oh, here, let, let me show this real quick because okay. um, I, I want to get cracking. Yeah. Crack a lacking. This is Bow Bridge in Central Park in New, uh-huh. New York City. Sorry, my phone is. New like, York City. New York. Yeah, you don't have to say the city. <laughs> like, it's like New York City. Anyway, um, so um, that's what I'm doing. So there's a little water down here, and then it's got the the bridge. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just blocking in the the, the basic colors of the um, painting. So we're gonna have trees that are coming up here. We might have some trees that are kind of in over here as well on the on the left hand side. For anyway, anyone that it's a who's visually impaired, it's a 24 inch tall by 18 inch wide canvas. And Bow Bridge is this beautiful bridge. It's a really pretty bridge. Oh yeah, in it's Central just Park. so ornate. And I love Central Park anyway, but but this is just it's just a beautiful bridge and um, but it's very ornate. It, like it has like all these um, um, gosh, I don't even know what you call them really. But it, it, the, but the whole bridge is sort of bowed, so it's like it's like arcing over um, in, in the, the the river area there, the water area. Um, and I'm trying to think of how to describe like the. It's like a. Like um, inner, it's like interlocked circles. Yeah, yeah, it's almost kind of like a Celtic knot, but very simple. Yeah, and that's and that's that and that's sort of the railing that's going across yeah. it. And then they have these huge pots with plants in them that are that are all kind of made into it, and then which is part of the the stanchions that hold up the bridge. And then behind it, there's these two buildings. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're two big buildings. And then some more buildings because it is New York, New York City, New York. <laughs> <Every time. laughs> New York. <laughs> Then there's some trees, and the trees are going to have beautiful 
foliage all over. So them. the building in the background, you've got two of them. I I assume one is the Empire State Building. I'm not sure. Because like, one like, looks I'm like saying, it. I'm not sure what the buildings are, but I was using. Like you looked at a skyline. Like yeah, yeah. So I, I, I was using some, some reference um, photos and then running it through the software. So I don't know what the, you know. I wanted I wanted to find out what who, what those buildings are because I have, I, I have a feeling they're probably old buildings. I don't okay. know. If the, I don't. I don't and I don't think it's just, I don't think it's the Empire State Building because I think it's two buildings that are very similar looking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So I'm not sure what they're. I'm sure somebody from New York probably. I know knows. my mom. Hello. <laughs> Look at the buildings. Tell us what you think they are. <laughs> okay. Um, Tell us what these two buildings are from this really janky sketch <laughs> that's not even fully put in yet. Um. Okay, uh, well, let me say, oh, Kylie asked, uh, what what date were you on to tell the truth? Um, uh, we were on July 26th or around that time, or um, John was, I wasn't, I went there with him, but John was on that, and I, at this point, obviously, they're doing, it's on reruns, but he, um, and then, um, he was on the... He was in the section with the swimmer and the champion, the blind championship golfer. So, um, there you go. Uh, Jeremy and Sarah. Jeremy They're and They're both Sarah. awesome. And Very, everybody was really cool. Yeah. I was more excited to meet the people on the show than the celebs. It was just a trip. Yeah, it was it was, it was a fun thing. And um, um, and it was a little fun, too, because I, I got to do two, two, two segments. So, like, I had a segment where, before that, um, well, the, the first segment, like if you've never seen the show, like you have have to pretend like you're. Um, oh, you have, you have three people, and they all say that they're a certain thing. Only one person's telling the truth. Um, and the first time, I had to say that I had swam the English Channel three times because. Oh, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't. I won't give any spoilers. Well, Brandon Foster says he's watching it on ABC right now. Yeah, I'll so, give any spoilers. Um, no spoilers. And then, oh, Nancy says, "Wow, the bridge is amazing." Oh, and thank then Kim you. said, uh, nice, thanks for describing it. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, and Kylie said, thank you. Oh, and oh. Sheila joined us and is waving hello. Who did? Sheila McComas oh, has joined well, us. Oh, well, hello. Um, well, hello. Well, hello. That sounds so crazy. So, yeah, I'm excited about this one. I mean, I'm ex- I, I, I love the, I don't know. You do bridges really well. Oh, thank you. So, I'm maybe excited. It's, maybe growing up, my, my mom loved the the song bridges over troubled water to the point that i was like oh my gosh <laughs> bridge over troubled water and i hear that and I go, oh my goodness i haven't seen that record in her, her collection she I'm probably surprised. wore the grooves down to it toward the whole record <laughs> oh well gene joins us and is watching you on to tell the truth also cool oh, well says. how cool guys well, thank you. And, Thanks um, for joining us, and tell Brandy hello. Oh, you know what's you know what's kind of cool is that, is that um of course we got to meet everybody on the show and all that, and there's so many interesting people, and I don't I don't want to give any spoilers away for anything, but um but um I think the last segment on that was um a sword a sword swall- swallower. I should I don't want to say well I, I won't say who it was, but it was the psychic. The but, but what 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 was kind of interesting is they flew people in from all over the country yeah. and, and stuff. And it just so happens that the the sword swallower person was um, lives about twenty minutes away from here. From yeah, us, which is yeah. isn't that crazy? I mean, and you know they weren't looking for like oh here's people from there. I mean they 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 flew even even the imposters they flew them in from all over the place. Like, it was just crazy. Yeah, I think. Some of the imposters had like side interesting gigs too. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that was really cool. Um, uh, but, but the really neat thing about the the one that I was on, I'll say, is that every everybody on on the panel I was on was really really cool and, and just extremely talented. Like like and what what they did was just you know so I you know I don't want to you know, yeah I don't, I don't give anything away but <laughs> but but everybody was just like amazing. It wasn't like you know it was like you know when the, when they when they tell you what they do and you're like tell me more I want to hear more about it that's just it's so fascinating. Well, oh, Brandon says it's what led me to you seeing you on that show. That, I oh. remember, remember that because he emailed you after that the show ran. And oh, that's cool. Well, the Mahapi relationship was forged. <laughs> <laughs> Man, swimming jars of that stuff is so good. <laughs> um. Thank anyway, you. so okay, tonight's show is all about dogs. And I just got off a Zoom puppy party. Yes. 
<laughs> so it's a Zoom that, puppy party. That's how you roll. That's how I roll. Um, for uh, the guide dogs of Texas has a brand new litter. They're named. They're the O litter. So every time a guide dog litter is born, they all they start with the same letter so that they can kind of keep track of like what age and where the dog is. Kind of like hurricanes, which is appropriate. They, yeah. There you go. Tell me. <laughs> the letter is yeah dictates the name. Um, so like, which is a funny thing because we got Eagle from the E litter, and we also got Echo from an E litter, but they were like you know ten years apart, which is interesting. Yeah. Um. It's like you do need to use the other letters, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so just E and then E and E. Yeah, I wonder when they get to like Q. Do they just skip that letter? No, like Queenie, Cubert, Quizzical, Qu- <laughs> Quiz Time. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Q. Yeah. I would love a guide dog. Or I mean, Quill. I don't want, um, Quillerin, that's a I'll, good name. Quillerin, yeah. See, there you go. Quill, Quillerin. It's a good name. Um, oh, Annie Simmons joined us and is waving hello. Hey. Oh, hey. Um, anyway, so the, so the O litter is nine, no, 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 oh, 27 days old. Oh, oh man. And um, they were having a puppy party on Zoom for anybody that wanted to attend. And we're kind of in the circuit of Guide Dogs of Texas because we just do random things with them. So um, I was like, yeah, I want to hang out with the puppy. You know what? That should be, like, prescribed. <laughs> like it because I you know well lately I was like man I need to meditate or yoga or, or, or something and then while I was watching on the puppy party I was like watching them just like play and I was like this is what people should do for about 20 <laughs> minutes is just watch puppies play yeah, they should, yeah. I think the guide dogs of Texas should really have a webcam that just constantly is like on their dogs yeah I man. would tune into that <laughs> a stupid amount of time make it a pay pay-per-view <laughs> yeah they could do a whole like patreon thing where people anyway oh yeah, my gosh. you know that 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 would be kind of cool on, on, on a pay, pay, patreon thing like if you could buy dog toys and stuff oh, that's great and that then, would be great and like i want to buy this dog toy and then suddenly the dog toys on cam and yeah like, and ah, you can pay to like watch them periodically like yeah. you don't have to pay all the time you just like i'm gonna five bucks and then i'm gonna watch the dogs for you know <laughs> so weird but brilliant so, somebody pet the yellow one not that one, the other one. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> so, um, the, the, <laughs> the mom's name is Luna, and there she had like nine puppies. It was wow. a big litter, and the, and it was uh, she was a black lab, but she had um, a, uh, she had a mixed blonde and black puppies. So super cute, and I grabbed a screenshot of them. Oh, here. So I mean, we can go into this sort of stuff. This is a screenshot of um, oh. me attending the puppy party. This is Olivia. Olivia? Yeah, she's one of the blonde ones, and oh. she was, um, uh, it was actually kind of hard to grab a screenshot, because they just move constantly, so the, 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 the quality of the camera was a bit questionable, um, but, uh, but, ugh, ridiculously cute. So she was feisty and jumping around, and, and then, um, you know, there was quite a few others that were super cute. <laughs> oh. You know, it's it's funny whenever like you like of course of course they're 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 too little, but even when the dogs get a little bit older, you know, mm-hmm. and they're they're still like little puppies, they seem di- different to me to, to me than other dogs. Like they seem quieter, and I, I don't know, maybe it's yeah. just me, but they just I don't know, they seem smarter in a way. Like you know, yeah, like you, can, like well, you had a bunch of little Einsteins running around well, there. Well. You know, like well, I, I deduce that this is the right way to get to the you know, I don't know. That'd be a good E name to have, E dog Einstein. Mm. Oh, that would be brilliant. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah be. so they they were super cute. The majority of the puppy party meeting was um, uh, people asking about how to like be a puppy raiser and all that sort of stuff. They're based in San Antonio, but I believe you can be a puppy raiser outside of that and do all sorts of different things. They had a bunch of people on there watching and asking questions. So if you're it, curious about being a puppy raiser or doing any of that stuff or giving back or anything, it, it's Guide Dogs of Texas. Um, you can Google them or go to their Facebook, and they have a ton of information on all that stuff. You know, I have to say, just just really quickly, I mean, I know I'm partial to Guide Dogs of Texas because that's where I've got my two guide dogs, but I'm partial for a reason. Like, I, I've looked at all the guide dog schools, and i talked to them, and um, and I'm not disparaging any of the guide dog schools. And, and, and all, all, all guide dog instructors go through the same certification, but there's different philosophies at schools. It's like you know, it's like if you go to a university. There's one university that puts out this type of student. One university puts out that type. So I mean, and it's good that there's a diversity in that. You know, like um, like there's 
some of the bigger schools, like the really big ones you've probably heard of, they do a lot of routes, which is really great. Like you go, you go to a couple different places, and that's great. But for modern travel and the different things, kind of like whenever we travel, we're not usually going to the same place. Or, you know, or yeah. I may give a talk here, go to there. And for me, like a guide dog from a guide dog school, like, like the guide dogs in Texas, which concentrates on fines, which is a whole different way of, um, of concentration for guide dogs. It's just incredible. Like, it is just incredible. So a lot of times, even people with visual impairments, they won't realize that there's different ways to train the guide dogs. Like, they're all the same certification. It's just the concentration of the school. So they'll yeah. get a, a guide dog from one school, and they'll think, well, it kind of works, but I have to go sight a guide quite a bit because uh, because my life, I have to do this kind of travel. Yeah. And they don't even know that, you know, other schools might train a different way that might fit their lifestyle a little better. Other people, a cane works better. You know, I mean, there's no, there's really no right or wrong. It's just, you know, you want you want to have all the different tools, and you want people to be aware of all the different tools and what's out there. You know. Yeah. But the guide dogs of Texas, though, are just preeminent. Like for like the way that they train, the the quality of the pups they put out, and it's just, I don't know, I I, I could go on forever and talk about them. But it's your soapbox, it's cool. Well, you know, it's it's funny. I mean, it's so awesome whenever you find like a non a nonprofit or organization that actually really does what they are put out to and like and they hold themselves to such a high level you know it's just you know it's kind of cool i don't know and they're all really nice people too like they're not full of themselves or anything which if i was as great at what you know what i do as they are what they do i you know i'd be very full of myself but yeah they're all well, Sheila says, doggone cute. Oh, yeah. And that, too. Yeah, they're that cute. That, too. They're awfully cute. And then cute. Kim said, Qbert is a funny name. Qbert would be adorable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder, love that. wonder what kind of sounds that that dog would make. <laughs> okay, so I have a, we have quite a few uh, pictures to go through. Oh, so, yeah. With, uh, so let's someone? go through them. Okay, I just, if Nancy's watching, I just want to say... She legit printed out a picture of a screenshot and put it on her fridge. Oh, because of last Monday, <laughs> what, what we said? Yeah. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so, yeah. Way to go, Nancy. I know, right? So now she can look at me every day. Oh. Every day. <laughs> okay, you can go on to the next one. I just had to throw that up because that's awesome. funny. Um, okay, so earlier on the Facebooks, John put out a um, share your puppy pics, and we'll talk we'll, – Talk about them. This is Whiskey. This is actually my brother and sister-in-law's dog. This oh. is the newest one. Um, and this is probably taking a, a little while back because he, he's bigger now. And he's not uh, – he's just a big dog. He's full of beans. And full of beans. But this is Whiskey. <laughs> he's Super so cute. cute. He is so soft. I mean, yeah, it, he's it, really just, cute. it doesn't feel like he's White made boxer. out of real fur. It's just like this soft – like almost, almost like rabbit fur. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Kim said, great info, thanks. I know some schools do more with treats and others avoid them. Yeah, that's that's true, and that's, and that's a big thing, too. And the guide dogs of Texas, they, they do use treats, but um, but they use them in a certain way, and they only use, like, certain treats. So so the dogs don't, you know, become um, – they're not really driven. The, the, the main reason they use the treats is for the guide dogs of Texas, the, and my trainer, at least. I shouldn't speak for everyone. But um, it, it's that you have these dogs that are super smart and they get bored easy. Mm-hmm. So if you have them doing the same thing or if they're just having to wait and, you know, sit down for like three hours while you're waiting for a meeting or something or at the doctor's office, you can give them a treat. Like you could ask them to do something and, they, and it keeps them happy. Yeah. If somebody gave me an M&M every once in a while, I, I would be pretty, you know. I, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably motivated. stay next to their side for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> you got M&Ms? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> Uh, okay, well, uh, Nancy says, so what do I get? Girl, I'm going to send you a paintbrush. Um, and then, <laughs> oh, and, and Chrissy said whiskey is adorable. We should wait for, for Nancy to actually come, come come to the state. And we'll give her a paintbrush. And we'll give her some paint. We can help, we can have yeah, help us paint our house. <laughs> yeah, really. Here's your paintbrush. She can get on the mural. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, go to, go ahead and go to the next one. Oh, okay, so this is Christy's puppy. Oh. His name is Jeffrey. Jeff, oh, what a great name. And I believe Jeffrey? this, I believe he is a very large dog. What is the big dogs? Greyhound? Greyhound. No, not no, Greyhound. No, no, no. Great, great Dane? Great Dane. I great think Dane. he's a Great Dane. Let us know otherwise. I know I've talked to you about it before, um... Um, Jeffrey, what a great name! I know he's so cute, and he looks so sad. What what color is Jeffrey? He's uh, he's uh, he looks like you know what he looks like Great Dane Dalmatian mix. Oh, like a uh, um, Harlequin. 
I guess. So, 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 Great Dane that's black and white is it, called mm-hmm. a Harlequin. Oh, okay, maybe that's what he is because that's what he looks like. Oh. Um, Nancy says, "Okay, I'm good with that." Oh, and Chrissy said, "Great Dane, one year old." Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Um, gosh. Only a handful. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted a Great Dane, and I always thought, I um back in the day when I was a teenager, I I, I was sighted, I drove a car, and um um and I worked at a pizza place, and one of the places I delivered pizzas to, they had a Great Dane. He was so tall that he would he would look he would look you in the eyes, but he like and he would just he wouldn't make any noises, but he would answer the door and he would just be standing there like like you know like like a That's person. That's crazy. And his owner, which was like this little mm-hmm. woman, um, always mm-hmm. had to kind of go around him. <laughs> the funny. pizza had to kind of get underneath him because he, he would just stand there and just, just motionless. That's cute. He probably ate the pizza, too. He probably know. did. Okay. Okay. This is Ollie Bop. And this was sent to us from Susan. And she said Su- her daughter graduated from college at, via Zoom with her best friend, Ollie Bop. And it's Ollie cute because it's a picture of the dog with the graduation cap in the diploma. Oh, what a great name, Super Ollie cute. Bop. I wonder where I know, that I came that. from. I don't know. I don't know. It's cute. Should I, 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 what color is Ollie Bop? Um, he's mainly black and white and with a little bit of brown on his eyebrows. No. Super cute. And he sounds like a smart dog if you graduate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this next one is from Gene Smith, and uh, it's their new. They're they're raising a guide dog, and this is their new guide dog with her daughters named oh. Spencer. So they're 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 a razor, so like they keep the dog for like a year. Yeah. And, wow. Yeah. So it's got to be a hard job. I know. It would be so hard. You know, but what a great thing though. You know, to be able to give the love and the and attention that the dog needs, like it actually being raised with a family. You know, it just helps them be more socialized and happy. And then you know, it's just I don't, it's and it's cool to think you know. Hopefully, they'll be able to keep in contact with wherever the dog goes. Well, I know I know the people that raised Eagle. Every once in a while, will touch base with you. And yeah, they they like your pictures of her. And it's kind of neat. It's kind of nice to be able to you know like say, oh yeah, you know you know I will. I, will, I would imagine like if I'd known the dog that I'd raised, it was like oh you know the the um, Eagles in New York, now Eagles in California, Eagles over here. You know, <laughs> and that's kind of cool. So well traveled. <laughs> okay, you can go on to the next one. This it was sent to us from Robin, and this is uh, Patches and Lady. Ooh. So, um, and pa- I believe Lady is the really older one, kind of ginger colored, and Patches is a hefty little butterball, white <laughs> and black. <laughs> Super cute. My, my dad had a dog named, named Lady when I was growing up. It was a bird dog. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A lot of bird dogs seem to be named Lady. Oh, huh, I wonder why. Oh, just, that's the thing. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, um, and then that's the last sweet. fan puppy that's pick. Got that's nice. I, li- I like that last one because it was a twofer. We got, we got, I know. We got, well, we this is, oh, you want a twofer? I got a fourfer. Wow, fourfer. <laughs> yeah, this one <laughs> was sent to us um, from Jeannie, and um, this is Buck, Fat Jacks, Tennis, Tennis, Tennyson, and Titus. And they, they're just. I know, I love that. You need, to, you need, to, you need, to, you need to put in a complaint about that fat jack. Like, Why well, gotta be fat? Why well, gotta be skinny. fat? Uh, maybe, maybe it's like that may name of the big guy, tiny. Yeah. Maybe he's really. <laughs> Man. Oh, uh, that's funny. What, what, what kind of dogs are they? Well, it's they're they look mixed, but one looks like an older boxer. One oh. looks like a black mix boxer. One is. Bigger, blonder, and looks like maybe a mix of like a golden and something big lab. Maybe it, it, the photo's a bit far away. Oh. I should have cropped. I don't think I cropped it well, but anyway, there you have it. That's awesome, man. Fan pics of their puppies. Well, thanks, guys, for National sending that Bob in. That's, Bay. Thanks that's, for sending it in. That's a lot of fun. You can, you can share families. Family. So, um, and then let's see the last. What's the next thing? I want to go I, in. The I think it's probably the paintings that are. Okay, so. I do want to. I, I do want to talk about this for a second. Do you or do you want to like talk about your painting for a minute? No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm monopolizing the show. Um, Good. so the guide dogs of Texas. Uh, okay. So, so every couple of years, John does a gallery show with the Greller Gallery in San Antonio. It's also where the guide dogs of Texas are based. And the great thing about this gallery is that they, in order to come in and do a show with them, a portion of the proceeds have to go to Guide Dogs of Texas. And I know we've done a show about this show 
prior and all that sort of stuff. But it's exciting because we only have like two paintings, maybe three left in the series that are available for sale. And when they sell, half the proceeds go to Guide Dogs of Texas. So this painting is of Buddy. This is one of the painting, mm. the last paintings available. This one is of Buddy, and this is um, basically the story with with all of this guy. The show was they were hero dogs, mm -hmm. and they all had a story. So John did ten paintings of ten relatively famous dogs, and with like you know a thing of their story and all that. And so this is Buddy, and he, uh, Buddy was the first uh, guide dog. So yeah, and America uh, Frank, it was Frank Morris's dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Frank it, Morris brought him over from England, um, and. Uh, the little synopsis is basically in 1928, Buddy was the first guide dog in America whose handler, Frank Morris, brought him over from England. He continually exceeded expectations to what a guide dog could be could do, surprising not only press and the public, but also his owner, Morris. By 1936, about 250 dogs were helping others in the U.S., and Buddy and Frank had logged 50,000 miles by foot, train, and subway, bus, and boat to meet with people and demonstrate the life-changing aspect of having a guide dog. Buddy delivered, this is quoting Morris, Buddy delivered to me the di divine gift of freedom, um, and Buddy's, Buddy's legacy and spirit lives on thanks to schools like the Guide Dogs of Texas. Man, that is, you know, one of the things too, guys, this show, I mean, and I want to I want to thank everyone that's gone and looked at the show. The show opened after the COVID thing hit, yeah. so, so there was never really a gallery opening. We, I mean, you know, it was a show, like we had two shows that opened after COVID, and um, so it, you know there, it there wasn't like a gallery shot like they was hung at the gallery, but I mean, you know, we didn't have a reception, which is where a lot of the sales come from. Yeah, and all that. And we were concerned because it's a big thing for guide dogs as well, of Texas as well. And I was kind yeah. of super bummed. I was too. And yeah, that's that's something that got me because because um, working with the Gorilla Gallery, then then you know it, it helps the, the 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 guide dogs of Texas and. You know, and if we were, you know, and we could always do a show some other time, but if it's with a different gallery, they may not, you know, do, do the yeah, same thing. Yeah, they don't, thing, yeah. You know? And, um, but, but even so, it's been like 70, 80% of everything sold. It's just yeah. um, incredible. Like, I just can't yeah, believe so that. Yeah, so, so it's exciting that we only have, like, technically we all, we have three paintings left. One is in the, ver on, is, is possibly being sold. We're in talks right now via email. But you can go to the next painting. This is the other painting that is, um, this might be bought any minute now, but um, it might not. It's, you know, you don't know Which until. Which one is this? This is Apollo and Brittany. Oh. So this one is really cool because it's the, um, the, the dogs at, for 9-11. Basically, Apollo and Brittany were only two of the numerous hero canines that were called to the horrific scene. In New York on September 11th, 2001, Apollo, a German Shepherd, was one of New York City's top dogs throughout the 1990s. Um, he and his handler, Peter Davis, were the first canine search and rescue team to answer the call, arriving at the South Tower merely 15 minutes after its collapse. And Brittany was known as the last living search and rescue dog to have worked at Ground Zero. Brittany and her uh, owner, handler, Denise Corliss, at worked 12-hour shifts in res on rescue and recovery for 10 days straight. Brittany crossed the Rainbow Bridge with her owners by her side at the age of 16 in Texas. Mm. And she was saluted by representatives from the armed forces and local fire departments. Oh, man, that's brilliant. And, and this painting, and it's a big painting. Yeah, it's just 24 by 36. And this one, it might be sold. We're waiting to hear back about the details on it, but oh. technically it's available. So. Oh, let me go back really quick. I'm sorry, guys. I, I should have done a verbal description. Um, so I'm going back to the Buddy painting. It's also a really large painting. Um, but it's a horizontal, and Buddy, he's a German Shepherd, so he's laying down. He's he's in the f the forefront of the painting, so he's taking up a good chunk of the painting. But I wanted to try to to, to capture that, you know, he served in the 1950s and all, so I wanted to give a little bit of flavor of what it was like back then. So you know, so I have a soda fountain back there, you know, you know, it's a city street that he that he travels on. So um, so I wanted to give a little bit of of a nod to the actual era that he served in is because guide dogs have been serving people ever since then so do you think back to when there were soda fountains and whatnot and why aren't there still <laughs> i mean i know, I know like, why aren't there any soda fountains but that's the way it looks and, and buddy himself he's he's 
Um, of course, I always use crazy colors, you know, the, for emotion. And, and Buddy, he's, he's blue and yellows and oranges and, and those kinds of colors. Yeah. Um, and so, then uh, on, on, on the Apollo and Brit Brittany, it's a scene where the dogs themselves go up a little past halfway in the canvas. Um, on, on the left-hand side is Brittany um, is, a, is, a, is a lab. And I believe, um, and, and Paulo, he, he's a German Shepherd, so, so Paulo's laying down. Um, Brittany on the left-hand side, he, she's she's setting up. I thought she was a Golden Retriever. Oh, gosh, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. I, I get she's... confused with my, yeah, I, I think of labs and Golden Retrievers. Yeah, they're, and, they're so similar. Yeah, yeah I was thinking, I don't know, I, I've never, yeah, that, I bet you're right, though. I think you're right. I think she is a Golden Retriever. Um, of course, the colors I use, you wouldn't be able to know, probably, because it's, Oranges and reds and yellows and things. And <laughs> well, I really love the firefighters in the background, and you can really tell there's, like, this monster of a, you know, ball of fire in front of them, but you use purples and reds and blues to make it pretty um, ominous, so. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I tried to make it where it, lo it looked like it was an <laughs> actual scene, but but also that it wasn't like, um, you know, all the, all the far firefighters are walking. It's not like, like ah, explosion, like, yeah. you know, I, I wanted to show that, you know, they're professionals working and so are the dogs you know yeah it's, you know they're they're they gotta cover anyway sorry and then okay, okay so this is this is the last painting that's available in the series um this? this is nick carter oh nick carter what a name for a dog too. I know. <laughs> and this is a fun painting this this um this basically nick carter was a kentucky hound named for a popular dime novel detective he was born in late 1899 with his handler captain gv <laughs> mulliken he became an American legend for his uh, man-trailing talents. Nick is credited with more than 650 fines, and his nose sent 126 criminals to jail. He was particularly skilled at tracking cold or very old scent trails and was known for having followed one, one trail for 55 miles. In 1909, Mulliken and Nick were called to the scene of an arson fire. The problem was the barn had burned down more than 100 hours earlier. Nose to the ground, the big red dog circled the charred ruins. Then suddenly he lifted his tail and was off, leading Mulliken to, the, to a farmhouse about a mile away where the arsonist was hiding out. In his long career, he helped to bring 2,500 criminals to justice. In this, in this painting, it's just a, um, a close-up of the dog's face, so it's a bloodhound. And he's looking off towards what what would be like the, the left hand side of the painting, and his mouth is open and his tongue is just hanging out, and his tongue actually extends down below the bottom of the painting, and and it's cropped so that the um, the, the painting um, ends it, 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 it just above his eyebrow, so so it's just a really up close view, and it just makes me want to you know just 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 grab him by that little skin <laughs> and just just give him a nice big pet. Yeah, know. I really like the way you used like the pinks and blues in his in his nose and front whisker area it's really cute it's just incredible thank you by the way that was really sweet i appreciate that um it's just it's just incredible how there's so many different dogs that give service in different ways i mean you know and then I, I think pretty much everybody has a service animal in a way or or so you know anytime you come home from a stressful day and you got your dog there and watches tv with you on your lap yeah and you can feel your blood pressure you know dropping that's adding years to your life you know it's adding you know, yeah joy to your life definitely and everybody should have a dog but then you see these <laughs> really incredible dogs like the guide dogs that choose to work you know they really do i mean if they don't want to be a guide dog yeah that's perfectly fine with the school they're like all right you know the what you know they they find a home for them and it's so yeah biggie. but um you know, you see these incredible dogs that just do amazing, amazing things. Well, do you want to go to go to your painting for a minute? I've got quite a few comments I want to. Say. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, so painting. <laughs> so oh, let me say really quickly, yeah. and then I'll keep painting. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what I've done is um, I, I put in a basic. I, I blocked the sky in it to in in in, in light and in, in darker blue, so it's just sort of all willy-nilly and it's just like strokes but that's fine i just want to get basic color up there down on the water i've um I've, I've put in a little purple some yellows oranges and i'm just using a back and forth horizontal stroke just to just just to block in the color a little bit and it's going to be something where the other paint is going to uh, it's going to shine through that other paint that i'm going to lay on later yeah it's gonna be nice so now over to you over to me <laughs> Okay, so um, uh, Christy said yes, John. It, um, he's a Harlequin. Oh. 
There you go. Um, oh, and Rodney Martino joins us and says, so glad to learn of you. Um, and then Donna uh, joins us and says, I just saw you on To Tell the Truth and your precious dog. Good show. So I can't wait to tell um, my artist friends about you. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so, I have to say I'm, I'm pretty embarrassed about Vermilion on there. But I swear, <laughs> I, it's not a color I use all the time. But there's, what, what color is Vermilion? And I, I think Kev, Kevin Nealon asked me that. Yeah. Was it, and then um, and I was like, I just went blank. I just could not think of what it, you know, it was like, <laughs> I, you know, like I had the colors I used and I thought, oh my goodness. Yeah. But it actually worked because, you know, me forgetting for a moment what that color was. Uh, yeah. It made it look good. You yeah. Know? So it was like, uh, like, surely this guy can't be a painter. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't he even know. That. <laughs> That's funny. Um, oh, uh, and Alicia joins us and says, just saw you to tell the truth. Beautiful work. Oh, thank um, you very much. Oh, and then Kim says, uh, hey, just FYI, one time I tried to share my art Facebook page and really struggled to figure out how. Ever since uh, when I get on your live feed, I show up under my public page. Not sure why, but you're but you're welcome to visit. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I don't know. That's in, I, I don't know. Unless it's like his, your feed, this show is on your Facebook page, and she's there. And then page to page, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's hard because I know I have the art page, um, which is John Bramblett. Then I have my personal page, which is John Bramblett. <laughs> so you know, it's very easy to tell the two apart. Well, and, <laughs> and, um, and, yeah. I'm, so I don't know, but um, I get I get confused on Facebook and all that all the time. And I know it's it's a little bit of a whole like. We just try to put it everywhere and hope we we yeah. we we've caught everything. You know, it's the way I play less. darts. You just get a handful and fling yeah. them at the dartboard. Maybe some will stick. Well, and uh, uh, Charlene joins us and says, "You are awesome. Loving your work. Keep it up." Oh, well, thank you. Um, and uh, Kim says, uh, "Love that story and the painting." Um, and Christy says, "A show without an opening night is hard." I'm glad you sold so many and raised money for a good cause. Thank you, girl. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and, um, yeah. It's all. I mean, I mean it. Yeah, it's, it's a fun show. The Griller Gallery is really great. Yeah, they they really are. Um, uh, Robin joins us as amazing art. I also just saw you on to tell the truth. Oh. Um, oh, and then Nancy said, "Did Stubby sell?" Yes, Stubby sold. To Stubby was Sergeant Stubby <laughs> was probably like the third or fourth painting to sell. And I just I don't I love I love that I love I love Sergeant Stubby. Story. I like I can't I can't think of the name right now. But what is the name? Bud, Bud, Bud Nelson. Nelson. That just sold. That just sold oh. two days ago. Oh, that is. It was the one with the goggles. And yeah, the, yeah. The, the dog that the first dog and the first person to cross the uh, America in a car. Like, yeah. Way back when, it was just. I love that dog. That, that just sounds like a heck of a road trip. Yeah. <laughs> the dog wearing fun. goggles. <laughs> you're, you're, it just sounds like something you you would see. You know, like I don't know, ch uh. ch chitty chitty bang bang sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, well, I mean, it was so long ago that they they didn't have. It wasn't like the car didn't have a top. No, no, and like in in, 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 in they they traveled with the mechanic because yeah, there wasn't like you know you couldn't stop at a guy, just a gas station somewhere. You know, yeah, everybody, it was just. Um. Well, uh, and no, my mom says love the painting of the nine eleven dogs tears at your tear tears at your heart. Yes. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. Um. And then Nancy Shackelford said very moving. Uh, we adopted a guide dog reject. She was a wonderful family dog. We got her from guide dogs of San Rafael. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. Man, that is like bueno when you can get a dog that is yeah. as well trained as those guide dogs. Oh my goodness. You know, and a lot of times like the, you know because they don't like you don't spank a guide dog if they don't want to step on a curb every time. You know, it, it's all very positive, you know, and if they don't want to be a guide dog, that's fine, you know. It's no, it's no biggie. Oh, and Barbara Barbara said about the two buildings in the painting the northernmost of Central Park West Great Twin Towered Apartment Houses. The 28-story El Dorado was completed in 1931. Are you kidding? Oh, hey. Wow, that's awesome. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Hey. Um, oh, and then we've got uh, so, Lori joins us and says, Hi, kids. Who's over there? Um, Bro oh, Bro hey. Bro <laughs> I thought it was Jack. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, hey, Brooke. <laughs> uh, Lori says, John, is there a way that I can send payments for a painting? I can afford to pay all at once, but I need your art. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, they, I mean, bramble at gmail.com. If you want to email John, I'll make sure he gets right back to you. Well, um, thank you so much for liking the artwork. I appreciate that so much. Uh, 
and then uh, she says, I don't know how to send uh, something for my rescue pups. I'm not sure what, what that is. And it says, I see your wife is also an amazing artist. Is her art for sale also? Um, thank you. Uh, I don't know. I guess not. I don't. I don't really do a lot of art now. I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Huh. A lot, of, a lot of the work that Jackie does is like, um, like you do a lot of computer work and a lot of design and, and yeah, you do a ton yeah. of, yeah, a ton of, ton, yeah, and, and not really photography that much anymore. It's mostly yeah. like computer design, like in website I mean, design. You know, the pictures and all yeah, of her. yeah. So sorry. Well, let me, <laughs> let me. Here, hold on. We have a visitor, guys. This is exciting. <laughs> this is different. So we're impromptu all of a sudden. Um, Virginia says hello from Uruguay, South America. Love your work. And then Toby um, says, sorry, I'm a little late to the party, but when you start one of your paintings, do you draw the black outline with ink, or how do you do it? Oh, you know, it's a, it's a special, it's a, um, it's, it's a, um, what is this, it's golden, it's a liquid, it's a liquid um, acrylic, and I, I can't think of the, well, you know, I can hold it up, I'm not sure which, which part is the label, so, but it, it's, it's just a liquid um, acrylic black, but I also mix, um, um, an acrylic flow into it so so it's a release and it makes it into kind of a rubbery sort of sticky medium that works really well for me and here here i'll try to be quiet so you can hear it but no that's just the whole thing moving okay one sec <laughs> i don't know well, i don't know if it's picking up on the mic but it makes it, it makes it we're just a tiniest bit sticky but if you're visually impaired and you're just starting to to do paintings and stuff you really need a thicker bigger line but after a while, you know, you can you can make it thinner and thinner and thinner until finally you just want it to feel different. <laughs> but um, yeah, so so the paint that I use though, it's got it's a it's a mix that I use, so um, that makes it feel different. But yeah, I always draw it out first. So, um, and Ron says, where can I buy those pictures? Please let everyone know. Um, everything, everything. Eventually, when all the paintings are d done, if they're not a commission, we upload them to the website and print as well and all that fun stuff. So, bramblet.com. Um, or if you have any questions, bramblet at gmail.com, you know, we're, yeah, no. and, uh, Kim says, I, ha I have to log off now. Good night. And thanks. Thanks for joining us. Oh, good night. Um, and Kylie reiterated bramblet.com is where you can get the paintings. Nancy said clay robots. Yes. I oh, do yes. Clay yes. Robots. Yeah. I, I, well, I am a Sculpey fanatic. And so I like to sculpt little things, but I don't ever yeah, you're, sell them. Yeah, you're always creating out. things. You always do art, but but you haven't really like hard, like yeah. you don't really like sell it yet. You know, like you, you've talked about getting a whole collection together, you know, to sell. Yeah, like that those would be robots cool. and those things you make are so cool. It's like yeah. man, you know, yeah, that'd, that'd be that. pretty cool. And then um, Barbara Brand says three thousand per month for an apartment in the El Dorado. Condos start at six mil for that that. Shoot. You can afford that. Yeah, at that, at that rate, we'll just get two, you know. <laughs> we'll let, right. have a weekend one and a, so, a workday one. <laughs> let me introduce you to. You ha you showed up out of the blue. Now you have to get on camera. Because I'm coming down from my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. On camera, girl. This is Brooke. <laughs> Come, there's a seat right there. Roll it over. All right. This, get, is, this is our friend, the, Brooke. Just to give you guys some quick history, this is who introduced me and John to each other. She's <laughs> to blame. She, she gets all the blame. She's to blame. So, ego, ego. You can up and down that thing. The dogs are excited. There's, there's somebody from the outside world in the oh house. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, and I'm, I brought my mask. I'm COVID free. So. <laughs> good. good, good. And you. So, yeah, Brooke, Brooke's been on here before, like like um, back in the day. Yeah, wow, yeah, it's that. been a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can yeah, we, we used oh, to do okay. live streams. <laughs> you said like you were coming so it's cool. Sound, but that was, that was a long time ago. But I'm so, almost to the point where I need to stop on this. One. I did have some trivia. I don't oh, know if you right. wanted to go into that. But yeah. we have five dog questions really fast. Okay, um, that I completely forgot. And uh. uh um, let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's go over to the first question. All right. Normal adult dogs have how many teeth, people? A, 24, B, 16, C, 42, or D, 32? And wow. for anybody out there um, watching, you can just um, answer in the, like, 
comments and all. Did, didn't we have this question? We had what animal has like 40 teeth. Oh. Or something like that. And it was the hippo. It wasn't the dog. That's right. I got that answer right. Hippos have 40 right. teeth? Something like that. It's in the 40s. That's crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, so. What do you think? Oh, Barbara says hi, Brooke. Christy says hi, Brooke. Hi! <laughs> Gosh, I'm thinking 24 or 32. I say hi, Brooke. Hi, Jack. Oh, Jack's in here now. Wow. Gosh, it's a full house. Yeah, party. we're having a party now. Lori says D, 32. I'm thinking 24 or 32. What else is... OB? I thought you were talking about like a bra size. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> um, all right, well, Nancy says B. Kylie says D. Linda says A. I'm going to say C. C. Okay, let's see. I think it's 24. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, yeah, hold it, hold it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say twenty four too. Okay. It is C forty two. I got it. Wow. Whoop, whoop. Dogs <laughs> have forty two permanent teeth. You That's know, crazy. Like eight, 20, uh, okay, what's the, the next one? That's crazy. Puppies are delivered how many weeks after conception? Okay. So <laughs> let me let me say that in the mic because I don't know if they can hear you, Jack. Uh, puppies are delivered how many weeks after conception? A thirty six B twenty two, C nine, D four. You want to come over here, buddy? No. You can see it over here. You can, you can talk into this mic. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um. We know the TV's over here. No, we've got one here. He wants to see. Yeah, <laughs> come over here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> this this is Jack, guys. If y'all uh, playing the scene. So again, A A thirty six, <laughs> B twenty two, oh, C nine. What do you think? D four. And Brooke's not allowed to answer because she can see the answers on my thing. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't. Oh, uh, but I, I already know because I've, <laughs> I've had many. Um, I yeah, think it's C. Oh. Wait, no. Let's see. Kylie says A. I think D. Lori says B. What's your answer, Dad? Well, what's B? D. Okay, so A is 46, B is 22, C is 9, and D is 4. Oh, I don't think it's 4 because that's just one month. And then they'd be like, oh, that's weeks. I thought that was months. Linda that'd says B. I don't know if I already said that. I'm already probably saying that. I think it's C. Also, what's the prize that you get from doing this? Oh, uh, we, we prizes were last week. We'll do prizes again in a couple weeks. Um, gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna say B. I'm gonna say B. Okay, and the answer is in fact C. Okay, yeah, you got it. Fun. Hey, high five it. It's only Can about I, nine. It's only about nine weeks total for dogs. Can my, my prize be Dad's pipe weed? J no. Oh, yeah. What? Darling. I like the feel of it. Jack, no. it's, it's tobacco, <laughs> darling. Oh. It's tobacco, <laughs> I thought it was something else. No, it doesn't. No. no. <laughs> Are you crazy? Jeez. Anyway, um, okay, the next question. Which, Which dog? Oh, really? Which, Which dog yodels instead of barks? Like, yodel, yodel. It, it yodels. Okay, A, um, where is it? Okay, A, a Commodore? Commodore? B, an otter hound, C, a, a basingy, or D, a basset hound. I think okay. it's a So if it's an otter hound, oh. is it like half otter, half not? Because <laughs> I would want that. <laughs> that would that that'd be pretty cute. That'd be pretty like, adorable. Otters are adorable, but I don't know how I, they'd look combined. I think it's a basingy. I have no idea. I, I think you, want, I, you want to guess? Linda says C. I think yeah, I think C too. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Is C the same? Oh, I mean, I think so. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. Are you ready for the answer? Yes. It is C, a basinji. Yes. You're good at there this. You go. go ahead and go to the next one because that's what they look like. That's what it looks like. I mean, nice. Good. I know. I you know what? I would pull it up, but I I, I know I can't log off of this stuff. But if you if you look it up, it's it's. It's not like a yodel. It's like a yeah. It, yeah. It's a weird sound, but it's not a bark. I I, I actually knew knew this one from like um, PBS Kids or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it was good. Well, yeah. Nancy said C. Kylie guessed D, and Lori guessed C. So, um, okay. On this one, what is the name of the dog on the front of the Cracker Jack box? Oh gosh, I don't know. Do you know? Way you're talking, right? A Jack. B, Max, mm. C, Bingo, D, Fido. Actually, there's a dog in that? <laughs> wow, I don't know. I don't. Well, Jack kind of makes sense, but... I think it's Jack. That makes sense. Cracker Jack. <laughs> I mean, well, that, would, that would be logical. And you've got a dog named Jack. Chip. 
Oh, Chip. No, we have a son named Chip. Son named Chip. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. Dogs right. and boys. I mean, he <laughs> does the same thing. Right? Yeah. Say, Do you perform tricks, Jack? I'm, I'm gonna yes, say he does. Bingo. Well, let's see. Um, no, you guess bingo. Know. Let's see. Christy and Kylie and Nancy guess A. What do you think? Nancy uh, uh, Shackleford yeah. guesses Jack, B. Jack, Jack. Including the last track, because that's me. Um, what do you... Maybe. Are you ready for me to answer it? I guess so. I'm going to say bingo, but I don't think that's it. You would be accurate. I am. Oh, I got it bingo right. Bingo was his name Oh, Wait, hey. why? Why? Sailor, it was Sailor Jack and his dog. Oh, oh. so Sailor Jack and his dog. Cracker Jack, the food. He first appeared on the it's packages of Cracker beer. Jack in 1918. Cracker Jack beer. Oh, it makes sense. <laughs> The interwebs. Inter- okay, next question. Let's try uh, the chip. How old? How old was the verified world's oldest dog, an Australian cattle hound named Bluey, when he died? A, nineteen. B, twenty-two. C, twenty-nine. D, forty. Someone says forty. Yeah. Yeah, it's forty. Hmm. What do you think? I don't know. I wasn't really listening. I kind of blocked out. Uh, the oldest dog, 19, 22, 29, or 40, I think. I bet mean, it's 22. I mean, no, no, 19. No, like 22. 22. Well, and, and, and that little, our little white dog, she lived to be 17. Really so I'm going to go with 40. I'm going to go with 40. Um, gonna go with 40. Gonna, Let's see. Nancy says D. 40. Oh my gosh. Ron says A. I might, oh, Kylie says A. Nancy says 22. Okay. Okay. Are we talking dog? No, no, no. Actual like, years. Wow. Lori really, says, John? Lori says B. Yeah, I, I'm just saying it like the oldest. Like we're talking Guinness Book here. Barbara, Barbara Brand says C. Yeah, I'm an A. Oh, Christy yeah. says C and Linda says C. I may have already said that, but um. C's probably okay. right. I'm just going for it. I, I want to see you a forty years. The, 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 yeah, I want a dog that lived forty years. Oh, I bet it's C. I bet it's C. Okay, the answer is everybody. The answer oh, is C. I knew it. Okay. Dad would not live good, 40 good old Bluey lived from 1910 to 1939 and died at the age of 29 years and five months. Wow, That's incredible. Bluey. 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 I wish all dogs lived that long. Huh? I wish all dogs lived that long. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, so I know you're at a stopping. I know you're at a stopping point with uh, yeah. the painting. Do you want to show it to us and then? We will sign off. Heck yeah, man. I so this, oh. so this is the painting here. So it's, it's basically where I was before because we started doing the, the questions and Jack, we're, we've been talking. But oh, you know what? I have added some some browns, like some orangey burnt siennas in here. So um, and I'll be working on this over the weekend. So by Monday, I'll have some progress to show you guys. That'll be cool. Heck yeah, man. Well, um, all right. Well. I guess for everybody out there, thanks for joining in. Um, Barbara, said, Barbara said, and then he went bluey. So dark. <laughs> Good bluey. So dark. Um, oh. uh, yeah, so um, I guess Monday, what is today? Oh my Thursday. gosh, Thursday. Thursday, people. It's Thursday. So um, <laughs> Monday we will do something fun again, more trivia. Yeah. I kind of wanted to talk about the like how lore has been depicted in art. So maybe we'll talk about that. Could be interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. But um, thank you again, guys, for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. You can go ahead and print us out and put us on your fridge. <laughs> it's been Apparently, that's months. a thing. <laughs> um, and uh, we should make some magnets. Join <laughs> us. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. We we yeah. And uh, so join us next Monday. But thanks thank again you. for hanging out, guys. You want to say something? Uh, I I don't know if this is something we should do, but if we. People should post their thing on Twitter or whenever, wherever there's hashtags and say fridge pick or John. Oh, fridge that'd be great. Yeah. That's fridge how pick. you would see that people in the <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Framelit fridge pick. I like it. The mouth of babes. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Thanks. thanks. <laughs>